Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now, today's episode we are gonna start off, well, I, th I think we're doing it pretty much every episode now, but this is the first time where we are gonna announce a beaver that follows pretty much the same, uh, well not the same, the new system that we suggested and introduced in episode 15. So, today's episode's winner is, let's have a bring back the UI here real quick. We've got a beaver ready. And let's pull up the name box over here. And the winner is Gold Coast Red. Uh, let me just try and type this down as well. Wrong letter. Coast Red. And he suggested a few interesting names that um, about 54 of us, including myself, really liked. Thank you very much. Congratulations and welcome to the colony Gold Coast Red. Now, unfortunately, you are unemployed, but uh, I'm sure that will change uh, very soon. Okay, let's go out again, and we'll speed up the time just a little bit. Well, I mean, unpause it. Now, today's episode's goal, uh, we actually have a few. Because that's, that's pretty much how my brain works most of the time as well. I don't really just focus on one thing. Although in some episodes, I have tried to do that to make it a little bit easier to follow. But in this one... We are going to do three things at the same time. So first of all, we'll carry on with a bit of bit of landscaping here. Then secondly, I do want to bring some stairs down, bring some more roads, and start putting putting in some more farms, I guess. Because remember, our main goal is to have another another river flowing through here. So we want to fill this area with some more farms. Yeah. And last but not least, let's just uh, move over here. Our new district over here, the fourth one, which is not going to be a permanent one. It is just a temporary district here to help us get access to the edge of the map. So once again, we are, well, at first, I want to see what you guys think about it. But in the anticipation that I think vast majority of you are going to go, yes, let's do it. We want to see our colony flood and, and see how the beavers are going to make it. Um, with that in mind, we're going to make our way as close to this levee as possible. So in the previous one, we already set up a, a small... What do you call it? Like a dam over here with some, with some flood gates as well. So that way we could also start introducing or letting through some water through this canyon over here as well all right so let's uh what should we start with i guess we'll start with over here because this is a slightly slightly bit bigger project okay we'll unpause the time and what i was thinking is actually fairly simple i think at the start all we want to do really is just to bring a road down and then climb up again. So if we r roughly measure it out, I think it's gonna come from right about here. And then I have to hop over those berries. Oh, that's not gonna line up, is it? That's the earliest we can turn away. Well, we can fix it. I think it's not a problem. Yeah, hopefully. Then, secondly, I think in the long run, we're going to have to maybe dam off this area here as well. Otherwise, we have to go to all corners of the map to put in more levees. And that's just going to... Yeah, that, that, that's not going to be easy. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll focus on the, on the first things first. Let's see. Do we need... We need a single couple of ladders over here and I think triple double single and then we can jump on the floor quick road oh that's gonna have to go up a little bit do you know what let's um let's go from this side instead okay now the next thing we are gonna have to get rid of some of those bushes over here so let's remove this whole row 
and give you the highest priority. Okay, that should keep the beavers busy for a little bit. I think we should have enough enough ma beaver power here. What is it? There is about 12... No, 10. 10 of them working here. 9 of them are builders. 8. Wait, what's going on? There's one working here as a lumberjack. 4, 4. So that's 9. But it says we got... Oh, one is a child. Okay. Gotcha. Well. That's fine. I think we got a bit of a bug. For some reason, it's showing me. Okay, it's gone now. Right, so you guys are going to be building those stairs. It's going to take quite a bit of time. So we can leave them for the time being. And we'll jump over to District 3. Okay. Because the trees take a little bit longer to grow. What we'll do is... Where should we place it? That's gonna have reach... Oh, we can... Remove a few roads in here as well. I think you're gonna go... All of them... And maybe we could... Well, let's give this a try. If it was here... How much reach do you have? Doesn't have a lot. Hmm. Interesting. Not crazy amount of reach, but we could do another one somewhere here, perhaps. Yeah, we could reach the bottom ones if we if we put some more roads down. So that's not a problem. So maybe one. Yeah, let's let's plop a few down. We'll empty this area as well. And another forester in this corner. I uh, wish it did show us the range. Let's try it again. So I think we're missing out this corner here. One second. Let's... Um, might not need you, actually. Let's try with this forester sitting right on the edge the forester over here I think he's done with all the trees that he can reach at least yeah that seems to be the case we can also remove a couple roads because they're not really leading anywhere and put a few more pine trees down like so okay now I'm curious why nobody has come to demolish uh, those blueberries here. Are they out of reach? They shouldn't be. And it's a high priority as well. Okay. Well, that's a little bit odd, but... Um, let's see. We should have enough builders here. Plus a few unemployed too. So that shouldn't be a problem. I thought they can um, still deconstruct them if, uh, if 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 they're up here because they they can definitely construct things when they're higher up. If that's not the case for blueberries, then well, then I'm not really sure what we can do. I wish there was a way to see some sort of like a task list or. Uh, or a way to see if anyone's able to reach this area. But since it's not really giving us any warnings. I would have assumed that. Um, everything's everything's all good. Mm, okay we'll come back to that. Uh, it seems we got one forester up already. That should be able to reach all the way here. And oh yeah, yeah we got another one as well. Which means we can put a few more trees. Oh wait first let's do a few roads. So how about one that goes through here? Is that going to change anything? No. Well, that's annoying. Really going to have to put a few stairs in, in here. 
I think we do. Well, so be it then. Let's see what happens if we just link them up like so. And I don't think we need this road here anymore. Okay, uh, blueberries. Anybody? Still, still a no. Where is all our builders? Is anyone slacking off? There is one slacking off over here. So why do you not want to? Let's just try and maybe remove this. Do it again. High priority. And let's see what happens. Okay. Now this forester, are you able to get all the trees? I think after this road is, is down, we should be. Yeah, and you can come all the way here as well. Okay, so that should be good. Now the next, uh, the third project that we wanted to have here. What I was thinking is to have um, a staircase system that sort of, uh, let's see, starts from both these doors. And we'll come down in the middle. Yeah, that looks perfect. And like so. Then we'll go behind the house or, or underneath those platforms. And I think we'll just hug the cliff over here. Oh, quick autosave, I think. And maybe... Maybe something like... Like that. Now, it won't be beneficial to have another staircase coming down right in the middle. Now, I know it's not too far for them to go, but... At the same time... That would got a lot of travel time for our beavers, so it should be a double in here. And I think we'll want this to go different direction, so let's see what we can do or come up with. Yep, maybe something like that. We'll connect it up and we'll do the same... Yeah, let's um, let's do it the same way. Then that means we can put a few trees nicely tucked away in the corner there as well. Yeah, maybe maybe a couple of pine trees. Okay, we'll let the whoa. Okay, these guys are pretty quick, so that's good. So when it comes to fields, I think what we want to start growing here. I was initially thinking maybe some wheat, because um, those fields, in my opinion, uh, they look pretty cool. Nicer than potatoes, perhaps. However, to process uh, all that, unless we're going to export it, is going to require power, which we don't have in this district. Yeah, we don't have it at all. So for the time being, let's create some fields that will give us some potatoes instead. So potatoes... And, well, let's plan out the roads. That's gonna come out. And then, yeah, maybe we just hug the potatoes around the fertile, fertile lands over here. Actually, that might be nicer to keep for a tree. Or some trees. And potatoes again. I think they should be able to grow potatoes in the... In the transitioning tile here as well. It looks like there's a little bit of grass in here. So we'll put a few potatoes in there. And... Maybe these two? Let's see how this works out. And we also have to check if the farmers can reach this area. Which might be a no. Okay, we'll see once they're... If they start planting anything or not. Just in case the farmers cannot reach this area. I think we'll just... Plop down this farmhouse in the not so fertile area. And we should have some unemployed beavers. Yes, we do. So they can start looking after, after the allocated potato fields right away. And temporary ones in here too. Just because we don't really have um, signed off the schematics of of this 
area's development, the farms will will take over. Now let's try and go back into our previous areas. We'll check on the blueberries first. And yeah. Hmm. So what I'm thinking. Our next option really is to. Yeah. Dynamites. They always help. So we'll lower it down and then see if um, if we can remove those blueberries from, from one tile above. Now moving over to our third project here. It seems we do have staircases in, in place already. But the construction site seems to be too far. So what we can do, and that was suggested in uh, before as well, we're just going to delete this district. And we'll place down this again. In somewhere here. Let's see if that messes up anything. Uh, I think it did. Those beavers just... Hmm. Yeah, they ran off. Okay, but that's alright. We got still some unemployed beavers in there. Let me just check. Does it still think we have District 4? No. Okay, good. So that means... I think those beavers are running back into one of the other districts. And we can migrate them. I think four of them, did they come over? Yes. So they should be moving in shortly. Alright, they haven't gotten back just yet. Well, once we got a few more unemployed, or if we can find them, we'll move them into this district here. Okay, three of them are working here. One is at the log cabin here. Sorry, the lumberjack flag. And now they should be able to reach the storage areas, but also the construction site. Okay, we'll just speed up the time a little bit and let the new beavers settle in. Right, it's really weird. It's it's like those beavers vanished. Hmm. I thought we have had more unemployed beavers in this district. Well, there's about 20 children. So maybe a few, yeah, quite a few passed, passed away, sadly. So once those um, kids grow up, then should get a few more beavers. Let's check. They're almost done. Just one more blank to go in. And then they should get busy with removing those blueberries. Now let's go back and check on the dynamite here. That is now built. And I think we'll... Let's bring this there down. And I'm really hoping they'll be able to... Actually, let's be smart about this. No one's working here. This is gonna go. I'm just afraid that they still won't be able to reach, so... Yeah. We're going dynamite way. Okay. Now, in this section here, seems we've got a few trees already planted. And it might be that they won't plant in here if it's submerged in water. So that's not really going to help us. Because I can't see any of those trees planted. And yeah, he's just slacking off in this tower. Who is it? Nguyen one. Okay, guess we, yeah, we're going to have to cut the water supply. And we'll wait until the water level drops. Drops are a lot lower. I think here we may have to... What do we have to do? We may have to open those gates a bit more. I'm just afraid that now that the water is moving through to District 3, it might start building up uh, a little bit more. And maybe even too much. But I guess we'll hopefully notice it in the notification area. Now, what's probably going to happen is it will come up in the notifications, but I won't, won't notice it. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Okay, so in this district, we have five unemployed still. Our two brave farmer beavers have gotten a few potatoes down, which is very nice. I think another thing we have to do here is maybe, instead of them going around, it would be smart if they could just go through. Yeah. So, can I remove these potatoes? Maybe even... Hmm. 
few potatoes here as well. And we'll bring this road over and there. Yeah. And I'm also leaving this area open here in case we want to bring the stairs down directly. Or well, we'll we'll see how we how we need it. Okay, let's check on the blueberries again. I really want to demolish this area. Okay. Nice. This now has no access, but that's that's okay. We'll build a new forester down here somewhere. And we can put some pine trees up there. And let's just patch this up. And the beavers are already building the stairs. Wonderful. Okay, water level is, I think, slowly starting to drop. Ah, I just realized we can actually speed this up. Oh, that's already lowered. Yeah, oh, that's gonna flood the potatoes. Mm, oh well. Alright, embrace yourself, beavers. Here comes the great flood. I know what those beavers are thinking. We've just finished all the fields. And... Now you've messed up my hard work. Could have done this before. Yeah, we could have. But then again, at the same time, just look how beautiful this looks. Yeah, maybe that's too much water. But the level seems to be dropping down pretty quickly. Well, that's not too bad at all. Wow. Let's get a better angle. Well, that's kind of what I want to make it look like eventually not as chaotic but that yeah that sort of gives us a rough idea what the plan is instead the water is coming hopefully bend around here okay so we just have a little bit more water to drain out of the lake i th i really hope our crops are gonna survive this if we can we check uh, maybe this corner one? Okay, one day. So hopefully in one day we'll be able to to remove them. And yeah, they're not really planting any new trees until this whole thing is trained, it seems. Okay. The last bit of water does not seem to want to go through here. Or maybe it does, but just very slowly. Okay, we'll leave this be. And it seems our beavers have finally emptied this area here as well. Okay, and let's check on the progress over here. A few roads in place should give them a bit more access. Yep, okay, we're just off by one. But that's okay, we can bring those stairs just around like so. And the same up here. And now all we gotta do is we'll just remove a few roads. And yeah, that's pretty much it. These are still high priority. So as soon as the morning, another day comes by, I'm hoping the beavers finalize this section here as well all they've got to do is put in a few more stairs remove what is it six six blueberries we need a platform here as well because this is i think too yeah it seems too high but that's okay we've got the resources we've got the beavers should not be a problem let's have a quick look in district three is this water still coming through why does it feel like it's stuck here no, it's slowly going through. Very slowly. We'll put in put in a few more a few more trees. They should have access. Anyone working here? They are. Okay. Yep, he's planting a few more pine trees in that corner too. And in the lake itself. Uh, let's go up a bit so we can see our platforms. Okay, finally. They should be able to plant all the missing trees now. Or maybe not. 
Well, I guess we'll see. We'll just keep an eye on this for the time being. Maybe speed it up as well. I think they'll only plant it if it's fertile, isn't it? Okay, blueberry field. Uh, how far can they reach? Oh, I see why. Okay, so the district is too far off. Well, that's okay, actually. But that's not going to be a huge problem because... We'll just do another temporary forester. Just over here. And we'll fill this area with as many pine trees as we can. Okay, and the rest can just stay as blueberries. That is that is not a problem. Okay, last check is going to be here. All we need... Uh, I think I missed it. Yep, we did. A couple of stairs. Road. And then we've got a direct access to two levees. I think we'll have to relocate the district one more time. Bring it a little little bit closer, maybe up on uh, up on this hill here. So that way, uh, actually, it might be... Hmm. No, it's going to have to be a different district. Ah, we we're so close. Well, actually, no, they should be able to reach. Yeah, because it's not even red. Yeah, that should be fine. So let's uh, let's leave this project for now. We'll go and check on... Yep, the forester is done. This is all good here. And I think not to lose all our crops. We're going to open the waterways again. And fill up this lake. Once. Once again. Okay. So with that, we, we, we've really completed everything we wanted to do in this episode. Uh, slightly less to build, but uh, nevertheless, still a very important important progress uh, in our long-term goals. So, once again, thank you very much for coming by, and hopefully see you in the next one. <laughs>